second angle as well. Gotcha. Uh, and not finding anything. So it's out of the alert. Uh, yeah. 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 So it's keep on the phone around here. Hello, handsome. Ah. Oh. had students make cars that balance on robots, cars that play soccer, cars that can balance on two wheels, cars that pretend they're animals. We've also had students get rid of vehicles altogether. Basically anything that students can think of is fair game. I'm Andrew Hauk, I'm a professor in electrical engineering and one of the two professors for our car lab. In junior year, we really want to give them a project that sort of brings all of the things they've learned so far it all comes together in a project where we can build a robot, and it is a pretty cool way to like apply our knowledge. At Princeton, we want students to really be creative thinkers. Their final project, they have six weeks to order the parts they need, get them here, build them into a system, debug it, work out all the kinks. So right now we have a soccer playing robot. Tomorrow during the demo, the car will like back up to try to locate the ball and then it'll go towards it and then circle and score the goal. I don't think anyone has ever gotten anything on the first try in Car Lab. If they did, that would be a miracle. Our goal is to make a robot dog car that responds to different commands. Originally, the dog's name was Duncan, which is my dog's name. But we also found that it actually doesn't respond very well to the word Duncan. So instead, we've been using the phrase, hello, handsome. Our goal is to shoot a ball that's flying through the air with a Nerf bullet like this. Hopefully by tomorrow, which is the final demo day, we'll be able to show the turret actually shooting something. We designed a robot that can balance on a ball. Basically it has four wheels and four motors. The ultimate goal is to have it be like the BB-8 from Star Wars. So this is actually my car. I was among the first classes to actually take Car Lab when I was an undergraduate here in 1999. Now students, they can do so much more. What used to be the final is now really just the sort of stepping off point. The purpose of Car Lab is really to get people to use a whole array of sensors. In the last 10 or 20 years, we've really developed ways that machines can see the world around them. Digital cameras that can do vision, sonar that can sense the distance, temperature sensors, magnetic field sensors. This sort of marriage of the physical world with data and information and computation is really critical for everything going forward. I would like to do more with robotics and hopefully get to the point where you see like these robots in movies that are like intelligent, that can help humans with different things. In the future, we could theoretically do anything. This is why people want to become engineers. You take an idea and you turn it into reality. <laughs>